you guys. All right, training in Denver, a whole lot of closings. What is this? One of the most historic places is done and saying goodbye. We'll talk about that in just a moment. We might have a new, we might know tomorrow if we have a new mayor. It's Bruff versus Johnston. It is the runoff <laughs> election. Today is election day, so get out and get the vote. And tomorrow we'll, we'll know who wins and who is our new mayor. Sweet. So congratulations to either. My vote is for the Nuggets. Okay, uh, Apple's got a new VR. This is everywhere. This looks so cool. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, I think it'd be cool for like 10 seconds. I'd be like, okay. I'm it'd be super cool if it wasn't $3,500. Yeah. 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 All right, so the 88 drive-in is officially closing. It's the last drive-in movie theater in and around uh, Denver. There's one up at Fort Collins that's still open, um, but this one is the last one and it's closing and it's sad. Yeah, you have to like, I just think of Greece when I think of drive-in, you know? Like stranded know. at the drive-in, branded a fool. What will they say? Make it stop. Monday, nope. yeah, it's cool. Why was everyone in Greece 30, by the way? <laughs> Did you, I mean, like, it's like Danny looks like he has like a 401k. When was the okay. last time you were at a drive-in? I've actually never been to a drive-in theater. That, I see, I think that's weird being a Midwest girl. I figured you'd do it like three, four times no. a week. No, nope. I mean, we had like, one, where I grew up, we had to travel in for, a th we had to drive an hour to a theater and was showing one movie two times a night and that's it. So we didn't have anywhere close to even that. So a drive-in theater, like it sounds like a good idea for nostalgia reasons. It is. And then I'm like, you can watch a movie on your phone in a car. Why would you go? Sometimes I'm surprised, you know, whether you love them or not, sometimes I'm surprised places like this are still open. Because the best part of being in a drive-in movie theater is getting caught making out with your date. And like the horn starts honking, people are walking up, knocking on windows. Yeah. That's what happens. It's like, sorry, that was my hip. That's what I've heard. Um, I would want to, <laughs> if we were to go before it closes, I'd want to do this whole scene from Greece okay. and like, you know, and just like take like- Who should I be in the scene? Well, I would. Do, I was gonna say, I would do it like with my husband. I would just get out of the truck and just be like, I'm not staying in this sin wagon, you know? And sin then, wagon? Yeah, she calls it a sin wagon <laughs> okay. when Danny goes to feel her up. Yeah. And then I would come back and be like, sorry, honey, we rode together. I need to get back in. <laughs> I guess I got to watch Greece again. <laughs> you do. At like, a drive-in movie theater. Ah, uh, full circle, just came full circle. That's what's trending in Denver.